Peace Drums is a project that has been bouncing around in my head since the early 2000s. And about three years ago, Delaware Churches for Middle East Peace finally made that vision a reality. At its core, Peace Drums takes a musical instrument, in this case, steel drums, which has no significant meaning in either the Arab world or the Jewish world. In other words, an instrument that is value neutral and an instrument that itself was born out of conflict from the slums of Trinidad and Tobago and puts it into the hands of 10 Arab children and 10 Jewish children to teach them musical elements and skills. Being a lifelong educator and musician, I have experienced firsthand the incredible power of music in bringing people from diverse backgrounds together to share in a common language. Teaching musical composition, improvisation, form, theory, and performing skills to any group of people brings into focus a shared human identity. There are a number of projects in the Middle East which bring young people together through music, dance, theater, and other art forms. My idea was not only to bring these kids together, but to actually form a band that rehearses and plays concerts together on a regular basis and inspires the younger brothers, sisters, cousins, and friends of these kids to want to play in the steel band when they get older. This project is designed to be multi-generational and to last for many years. Bob Stoddard had watched, uh, had, was viewing a concert of my university steel band about four or five years ago. And um, we started talking about the steel drums as, an, as a way, as a community instrument. People love playing in the band because it forms a real sense of community and really bonds people, as does any kind of musical ensemble. Um, at the time, I was thinking about doing a project in the Middle East, but really had no organization to help pull that off. And uh, Bob said, well, he's involved with this project um, for Israel-Palestine and to try to bring peace to the Middle East. And um, he asked if I might be interested in presenting this project to Delaware Churches for Middle East Peace. And so I said, of course, I would love to, to tell them about my vision and about um, how strong an influence playing music in an ensemble can be on people from diverse backgrounds. The first thing was to really do a budget. Um, we realized we needed about $96,000 that we needed to raise that money to get the necessary musical instruments, in this case steel drums, to uh, get them to Israel to the two, to, to the two schools which we targeted as the schools that would be interested in doing this project. The first school was a school um, in Ibelin, which is an Arab town about 20 kilometers east of Haifa. Uh, the Mar Elias School, a really in lovely, incredible place. Um, and we raised enough money to ship 10 steel drums there. And the next school was a school in Haifa, a Jewish school by the name of Leo Beck. And we raised enough money to ship 10 drums there. I took the drums on the plane in each case um, and um, got them from the airport to these schools, um, had workshops with the schools and teachers, and then started a 10-piece band in each school and then had the schools start to rehearse together. Well, the daily routine is um, we start like we would with any ensemble or any steel band in any of the schools um, in Delaware. We do some scales, we do some chords, we do some theory work, we do some technical work, and then we start working on tunes. And that might take an hour and a half or so. We take a break, we come back, and we start to work on more music and more repertoire. And this is shared repertoire. So the students um, in Mar Elias School in Ibelin are working on the same music as the kids at the Leo Beck School in Haifa. Um, and we make sure that we're playing the right notes and the right rhythms and the same notes and the same rhythms so that when they do get together once a month and rehearse, um, it goes very smoothly. Uh, the outcome is that they're playing um, for one another. They're playing for their peers um, at school. So um, each of those bands has played for their entire school. Um, they've played concerts in front of you know, hundreds of people at their school. Um, they haven't played outside of the school yet, but that's what we're, that's what we're aiming for um, on a bigger level is to do um, actually a fundraising tour in the U.S. Uh, uh, around April 2016. And that is going to be a big step for them because they're going to have to learn about 45 minutes worth of music memorized, and they're going to have to do three or four concerts around Israel so they practice touring together 
and being together, and then they're going to come, uh, 20 of them, along with some adult chaperones, to the Philadelphia Wilmington area um, for about four concerts. There's multiple layers with this concert. Um, one is to really get the kids together for an extended period. In this case, probably 10 days to, to, to two weeks when you include travel um, in that. Um, the kids will be living together in, in homestay. Um, they'll be rehearsing together. They'll be sharing a stage together. And that's a really incredible bonding experience that anyone who is a musician who has played in an ensemble and played a concert with someone else when you're finished with that concert or you're finished with that tour you are friends for life and um, you know these kids will will see one another not as Arab kids and Jewish kids but really as steel band band members um, who have done who have done a tour that's going to be the richest human context out of the tour the other portion of it is to make a fundraising tour out of it. And we hope to play in several uh, large sanctuaries, religious sanctuaries in and around Philadelphia, Wilmington, New York, and DC to raise consciousness of the band, to raise consciousness of the project, and to raise money for the project for the future. There's uh, these two lovely girls, um, both I think in the seventh grade, although one of them I just found out, um, the, 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 the Jewish friend, the Jewish girl, um, actually moved to Australia about two weeks ago. So, but they're still friends on Facebook, um, and um, you know they met at the first steel band rehearsal. Um, the kids have a have a shared Facebook page, so the, they're they're friends that way. And um, I expect that there'll be more friendships um, as in the coming months. The parents of the kids um, have really expressed an interest to have socials together to have pizza parties together, to go to movies together, to have sleepovers together so that they really get to see one another in the band and outside of the band. This project uh, seems to grow larger uh, all the time. Uh, the people that are involved um, are really tremendous and um, the mechanism in the United States in Delaware, Delaware Churches for Middle East Peace, um, these are dedicated people to seeing you know, some positive change in the Middle East between Arabs and Jews and Muslims and Christians and Jews and to see, to get people to see one another as human beings. Uh, we know that this happens through music for sure. And um, you know, just this small part, just being a musician myself, this is my small contribution to try to make things a little better for, uh, for, for younger people.